It's time for the top plays of the week from NEC Fall Sports Action. We're going all soccer this week and we start at number 8. Fairleigh Dickinson's Daniel Lasarte finds Christian Nunez in the box who gives the Knights a 1-0 lead over Manhattan. Here comes Mon Premier with a high head of steam. Mon Premier from the near side. Plays it back to Lasarte. The cross. The shot! Goal! FDU 1-0! Number 7. Robert Morris's Bailey Winkle scores one of his two goals against St. Bonaventure with this redirection to put the Colonials up 2-0. Over to Winkle, Winkle scores! Winkle with his second goal of the game on a cross, and the Colonials take a 2-0 lead. Coming in at number six, St. Francis U's Troy Kiernan puts the red flash on the board with this great individual effort against Duquesne. A short kick taken. That one's headed towards the middle, flash on shot, and it's off the post! Rebound, it's in! And just like that, the red flash are back in it. For number five, we head back to Moon Township. Robert Morris's Jane Schleicher makes a nifty little move past the UMBC defender and finds the back of the net. Berkeley able to win that ball back off looking for some offenses, the Colonials. This is Schleicher. You can hear them yelling, shoot, she does, and she scores! The Colonials got their first goal of the year. Jane Schleicher with the first goal for the Colonials, and they take a 1-0 lead here. At number four, the long throw-in comes to St. Francis U's Troy Kiernan, who finds Mario Mastrangelo. He scores, and the red flash would go on to win this one, 4-2. Takes one hop, gets by the defender, and now the flash on a two-on-one. They send it forward, a shot on, and it's in, and the flash have taken the lead late in the second half. Number three, Fairleigh Dickinson's Jesse Reinhardt takes a left-footed corner and scores to tie the game up at one against William & Mary. Coming in at number two, you don't see this every day. Wagner goalkeeper Delaney Beck scores the golden goal against Delaware State on this long distance free kick. And our top play of the week belongs to Robert Morris's Chrissy Kelly. Tied one to one with UMBC in overtime, Kelly goes bar down for the win. Shot taken there and off the post, it goes in! The Colonials have won this game. And there you have it. Those are your top plays of the week. For NEC Front Row, I'm Kyle Turner, and we'll be back next week with more top plays from Fall Sports Action.